Clueless questions, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Marcus, uh, what questions do we have? By the way, if you do want to send your questions or ain't got a clue podcast at gmail.com, send them in. What are we working with today, Mr. Bronzy? We've had um, some, some clueless comments that have come in from all angles, really, a little bit of email stuff. But before we get into some clueless questions, we've had uh, like a clueless... Can I need to find a C for it. It's not. It's a. It's a. It's a clueless bit of information, right? Apparently, you spoke about getting a booster, like a hepatitis A shot. Yeah. Know, yeah. Apparently, in six to twelve months, a booster. If you get one, it will cover you for twenty five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they freak you out and tell you that the yellow fever vaccine create carries a one in four million chance of death? Did they tell you that before they no, gave they you? Told me that. What? My what what would you say if you hear that them kind of stats? Are you just like not me. I'm like, do you know what I always say? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, God always takes the nice ones. So, so no, no, so and I'm I, not nice. <laughs> Give me two. I, I always live my life on the thing like, I try and minimize risks, mm -hmm. but I also do believe that if it's your time to go, it's your time to go. So if taking that injection was in my, was my way to go, it's my way to go in it. <sighs> With all due respect, It's a bad way to go though, isn't it? It's not like I want oh, yeah, I, I want to go out in a blaze of glory. Like, I want to go I want people to be like I want to die like him. That's what I really really want cuz but to go out like it's like me. I think, right? I might be the kind of guy that's it's going to be a cold that gets me. I'm going to get a cold and I'm either, either, nah. either it's going to be a cold and I'm just going to sneeze and my heart stops or I like do something like I'll sneeze and fall off a ledge. Well, I reckon heart myself, like, disease Ooh. or gout. You you're very gout. <laughs> Fucking hell, you came out with the machine guns on this episode. Fuck, I take the mic out of you for a newspaper and then come with that. <laughs> you, that is special. <laughs> oh my God, clueless clapback. Oh my days. You Fucking hell. <laughs> between the, look, listen, there was a little break between us recording. Did you? Fucking hell, you wrote that down, didn't it? No. You led us into that. That's horrible. You do you do like You look of, like you would die of gout. I could hey, listen, you never let me finish. Fucking you know, hell, you run seven kilometers yesterday and look at you now. <laughs> I can't walk. <laughs> Did you yeah. just say I you can't if you got gout as well, apparently. Yeah, go on, go on. I do think yeah. you have a penchant for red meat and wine, right? Red meat and red wine. Notice how I've not said yes. Continue what you're saying, you though, do please. Though, you do though. I have a penchant for wine and red meat. You do, don't you? I would say I eat a normal amount of red meat and I consume normal amounts of wine sometimes. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. I think as you get older. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. If you don't cut down. Yeah. Okay. And if you don't increase your cardio. Yeah. Okay. It might have detrimental effect. This is true. The words you have said in isolation are correct. You don't know how much red meat I've consumed recently, for starters, yeah? Or how much wine I've, com I've, I've consumed all right, recently. Okay, and all I'm it. saying is, it's not just wine you've and... Been, you've been by the ocean it's eating not, fish it, it, that's it, been caught no, freshly. It's not just wine and red meat that gives you gout. It's a whole lifestyle thing, bro. Yeah, and what's that? Not exercising and eating rich foods. Rich foods of any sorts. But rich foods. Okay, and it was alcohol. a joke, brother. Right? Okay, yeah, fuck it, I mean, stop you taking fucking it so serious. clap back hard. Stop I'm just sitting there. Seriously, Get the venom. All right, bro, man. The venom, boy. Why, why are you Why are you dwelling on it, bro? bro Chill, relax, bro. bro. Chill. Okay, relax. yeah. All right, see relax, you doing there. Relax, bro. Wow. Chill. Chill, bro. <sighs> Chill, bro. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, moving on. Thank you for the last today. I may have to stop listening while I'm on the... Oh, Yasmin, thank you. I may have to stop listening while I'm on the train getting some strange looks. Looking forward to coming to the live show at, oh. um, at the venue that we haven't... At U, we never said we're doing a live show at UTC. Shouldn't we UTC? Apparently doing it, but I don't know. Oh, no, she's probably yeah. thinking about my comedy club. Uh, oh, oh, that's it. Kay's Comedy Club. Make sure you go and check that out. When's yeah. the next one? Wednesday. Well, first Wednesday of every month. First Wednesday of every month. Okay, right. Now... Anyway, this is some more clueless information as well. Chiropractors, this is clueless chiropractors. Chiropractors are definitely scammers. I said that. Go and see a physio. True yes. story. Someone died a couple of years ago because their chiropractor broke their neck. 100%. Another bad way to die. That's a shit. Look, if I'm in heaven. They basically Stephen Seagal'd you yeah. with your consent. I want bragging rights. They fucking went like, yeah. like you were 
just yeah. done any random in a Steven Seagal exactly. film. I want to be like, and you paid for that. Yeah, you paid for the session. You paid to get your. You paid to die. That's the shit way to die. If I'm in heaven and I've got a broken neck, I want to be like, well, basically there was a train. Yeah, I want to die. And there were four. Sleep, there bro. were four kids on a track, and I threw the four kids up, and the train hit me, and it broke my neck. And that's a, really the train killed me in a few ways. But it's a broken I don't want to die with any anti anticipation behind it. That's why yeah. I think dying in my sleep will be great. Or like one of those deaths where it's like, oh, whoopsie. Like, so, oh boy, <laughs> then you're gone. I'm going to be like, Yeah, no, Damn. Yeah, that's it. Do you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Where yeah. it's just like, you, you haven't even had a time to process what's yeah. going on. I don't want the whole life flashing before my eyes. Yeah. Like yeah. If, I, if I'm in bed and I die, great. Lightning strikes are a good way to go. Because imagine you just go into bed as if you're going to sleep. That's brilliant. Yeah. You just take a long sleep. My great granddad on Forever. my mum's side went like that, listening to his favourite record. That's heavy, isn't it? That's yeah. heavy. Yeah. Listening to your favourite tune. Like for us when we're older, we're like, like heart attack. Oh yeah, I'm me for the beep. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wicked, wicked, wicked. But like if, if a heart attack, that's like such a painful way to go. Mm. I don't want to experience that level of pain if I go. I'm just yeah. like, obviously it's not up to me, innit? But like, that's fuck. Like heart attack's got to be one of the yeah. hardest ways to go. Like your whole chest is just in tatters. Yeah, it's not Anxiety good. through the roof. Nah, bro. Yeah, it's not good. Give me a whole, I'm in bed. And then suddenly you stop hearing. Obviously, it's fucking terror for everybody else around I mean, Unless the person doesn't like snoring, it's like, fucking hell, I'm going to get a good night's sleep. We're reporting in the morning, but for once. No, that, that must be scary sleep. for anybody that, 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 that loves you when, they, when you haven't woken up. Have you ever slept next to somebody that snores or knit in a room with somebody that snores and they do the kind of... I used to do this when I was bigger, sleep apnea, like... No, I haven't had that. <laughs> yeah, some people, they part of their sleep apnea is they stop breathing for like 20 seconds. So like that's worse than snoring. So imagine in a room and someone's just going. I gotta slap you in your throat, bro. And they just go. If you ever did that around me and I, and I saw you stop breathing, bro, I'd punch you in your fucking stomach before you, so you could wake up. <sighs> Who are you talking to? Have you got a specific snoring friend? No, I'm there, saying you. You, if not, you did that. You would not punch me in the face. What? If, Come on, stop no, with your aggression. I never said now. in your face. You already, or in my I never throat, said in your face. You already I said threatened your me with several newspapers I said your today. I said in your my stomach. stomach. But to save your life. You oh to save my life. Yeah, if you're my heart's in my chest. Hold on, you're going. Like that, yeah. but I'm punching your stomach. Like, see, wake up. I'll be you like, punch something. I'll be like, Marcus, wake up, and I'll be like, brother, saved your life. <laughs> saved your life, bro. You punch somebody in the stomach to save their life. Not hard. I'll be like, ah, like yeah, I mean, like but my breathing bits are in my chest, bro, and I've got like a rib cage there to protect it, so you could give it a little knock there. But instead, you're gonna punch me in the in the tummy. Yeah, because that's a better reflex reaction. Because you'd be like, oh, like that, and then like you're already gonna. <laughs> yeah, and, and once you're vomiting, then I know you're alive. If I hit your chest, you're not gonna go, oh. But if I go in your stomach, you're like, oh, what the fuck. <laughs> and then immediately you're asking for breath. Would you think to maybe just give me a little tap beforehand? Yo, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you just if you went straight to that, I mean, no, that's no, a bit no, extreme. No, no, no. Be like, like, yo, 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 right. and then pop. So. <laughs> So we've been. This is an email uh, from one of our regular listeners, right? Um, and they said they got some some sayings for us because we dropped some good sayings. I believe I dropped a cheesy one, but Kay had that one, that really good one about getting on a horse and getting off. A, what was it again? Say it again because it's great. What was it? The Kurdish one. Getting off is like one regret. Get sorry. Getting on is one regret. Getting off is two. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Right. So I'm not going to do the um, actual pronunciations of these because they're not in English, but they've got um, a good laugh and a long sleep are the two best cures in a doctor's book. I like that. I like yeah, basically, that. that's how you cure depression and yeah. most illnesses. Rest, yeah, in man. It. Eat well, eat well. Good uh, and a good laugh. I think laughing is good for you. I know people that laugh more. I feel like happier people just do better in life. Kcode.com comes to what's good. There you go. Next year, twenty twenty-five. A windy yeah. day is not the day to be thatching the roof. Okay, it's common sense. I get down it? with that. I get down it's with common that. Common sense, though, isn't it? And what are we lacking a lot of? Common sense. Yeah, man. However. When is a windy day good for anything? <laughs> wind, tur wind turbines. Renewable energy. But you know when it's not a good day to build a wind turbine? A windy day. Did you see that clip from another podcast that I will mention where one of them thought that the wind turbines were good for the environment? Oh, my days. <laughs> Cause Amazing. They, cause that they, was one of the most... Um, honestly, if I could remember... Uh, brother, I'd big them up. That was one of the best... Nice baby show. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fa they thought, Thank they you thought so much. One of them thought... Amazing. One of them thought... Amazing. Amazing. That, for the, um, Amazing. Give, providing context. Yeah. One of them thought that the reason it was good for the environment was that the wind turbines cooled out. <laughs> Fantastic. You know what? I see the logic in it. 
I'm not weak, I don't agree, but that was one of the most, and the way that everyone reacted, that was one of the best clips ever. And when, and it's not even if, when I <laughs> say stuff like that, global that's the reaction warming I was gonna stop because somebody- That's <laughs> mental. Made a few winter. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> and do you know what? The only thing I regret is they should have let him. They should have let him run with it a bit longer. Like, yeah, what do you think? It's like the cool breeze off the sea that brings it in. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That was so. I funny. let him run with that. That was funny. That was fantastic. Um, here, oh, oh, ooh. ooh, okay. Sorry, this is really bad. Me going, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna get to this. All right, a friend's eye is a good mirror. Is it? I was in. Oh, I, I guess you are who you associate with. Oh, okay. All right. So if if you're a bit of a prick, that means I'm a prick. So if you're going to dive gut, I'm going to dive gut. <laughs> right, I'm going to cancel that cheese tasting after the episode. Now. Uh, We're both going to dive gut, essentially, is what's, what, the, what the moral of this story is. <laughs> what is seldom slash rare is wonderful. I'll get down with that. Simple one. What is seldom slash rare is one of well, that's true because the two you can't have too much of a good thing. Mm, mm, mm. And if you like, for example, turkey. Not every you, you have turkey at like Christmas time in this country, yeah, in it, yeah. and that's it, really. Yeah, you don't you don't have it all the time. Otherwise, it would devalue in it. I genuinely in well, bro. I, I saw this is so. Boring. I'm sorry, guys. I saw a, like a leg of turkey, like a bunch of legs of turkey in the supermarket the other day for like three, four quid each. Massive. And I realised, because it's not Christmas, at Christmas time, they were mad, bruv. They so were why like, don't you these... take them, slap them in the big industrial freezer. Done though, the big them coffin back, freezer. Bring them back six months from now. Yeah, so they can come out like The Undertaker at, at WrestleMania. And That's all right though. If you freeze the them, table. they're fine though, no? You can freeze You can freeze stuff like that for ages, man. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, just put it, put it at the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put it at the bottom. Then when it comes to Christmas, like... You've got like everything out I'm of the like, freezer. I'm like the Oprah of turkey legs. Your missus, you your mum, you everyone's leg. like, Marcus, what are you doing? Don't worry, I bought like 14 legs of, yeah. of turkey so back, I, in, back in June. So I go I go around like Scrooge, give me like, yeah, giving out turkeys on Christmas Day. All right, here's, here's, a, here's a final um, clueless, I don't know a C for it, but uh, here's, here's a little saying for us. A good, by the way, it's taken me a while because I'm reading it in a different language and I don't want to destroy the language by saying it. A good run is better than a bad standing. Yeah, I did. I, well, I did seven k. <laughs> Just in case you weren't aware. Um, was that better than me standing badly? Uh, is it like actually? Yeah, good is it going some bad standing, yeah, right? Yeah. Can can cause imbalances in your muscles in your and, and gives you back pain and stuff. So you see people that are in jobs that where they stand for too long, like yeah. retail or yeah. barbers or whatever, because they usually stand on one leg in it. Like as yeah. in, you, you put your pressure on one leg more than the other, and it causes all sorts of issues. And I'm sorry, but and because this runs in my family, but varicose veins are fucking minging, bruv. And I'm trying. You to have not mentioned get them. this before. I don't want them, bruv. I don't want them, bro. So and run, standing bro. doesn't. I, I walk. I walk. Now run. What? You want me to run with run. you, innit? You want me to run with run, you, bro? I'll run with you, bro. Run, Should we Marcus. go for a run? I think it will make, I think if we went for a run and recorded it, because we're, we're going to separate, you're going to get ahead of me, I'm going to be behind. I don't even think I think it'll be a hilarious podcast. I run, I run really slowly. For me, I always tell people it's not about the time. So there's a, saying, there's a saying in a sci-fi book that I just read, right? Here we go. And it is. It's from the guy that wrote Free Body Problem. It's like Death Forest, whatever. In the universe, there's always someone bigger than you. And there's always someone smaller than you. 100%. And in the universe, there's always someone faster than you. And there's always, always someone slower than you. So even though you're slow, Kay, I guarantee you there's someone that's slower out there. And you may be in the room with them right now. Yeah. It's not, I'm not proud of it. I'll get there but in I'll, the end. I'll join your pace. But then what if I'm like, oh, flipping hell, now I have to stop trying so hard. And I go even slower. Will you just get frustrated. No, I wouldn't. What, so I'm like, as long as we get it done. See, look, if I'm running with you, we're getting it. We're going for a run. Okay. It's not about me on individual times. Right. We're doing this. Okay. So if one of us fails, we both fail. Okay. So that's pressure, man. That's not pressure, bro. I'm like, I'm being nice to you, bro. Like, yeah. my my whole thing is, I'm with you, bro. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, if 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 you're struggling, we go at your pace, bro. We finish. We finish when you finish, and then we're done. And then you can get yourself an almond croissant from Gales. I'm do all or, of that or whatever, yeah. wherever, wherever you buy almond croissants now because yeah. I, I don't know where where's <laughs> where, where we're allowed to shop anymore. Oh my days, bro! <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm I really bro. It's hard, you know. Do you know when people you be like, oh, I just got something from that, and people are like, 
You shouldn't shop. Yeah, there. we're boycotting them. <laughs> but the first thing is, is when I have a mouthful of it, what do I do? Like, if they tell I you during I, the mouthful, what do you, do you just uh, carry up, uh, whoopsie, or do you spit I'm, out the mouthful? I'm literally getting to that point where I'm like, <laughs> just don't eat anything outside. <laughs> just walk cook at home. Make it at home. Yeah, but where did you buy your groceries? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Mad, all, all sorts of different Mad. causes. Did you know that this one says something sexist? And then yeah. you're like, oh shit! Now I've got I'm supporting a fucking <laughs> sexist as well. What the fuck? Can't there just be a food place where they don't fucking run on bigotry? Can we not just have that? Like that's what we want. We're not bigots. Dot com, and I want to I want to know where all the places I can shop are for safety. I, 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 do you know what? This is why sometimes <laughs> friends. I think I think it's very. Um, I think it's it's a smart decision when some brand CEOs just go, I'm going to shut the fuck up. Yeah. 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 I'm going to step down and I'm going to I'm going to be on the board, but I'm not going to run things anymore. We're going to get someone who's an actual nice person to come and run things for me. A hundred percent. Right. OK, let's keep pushing. Um, shout out to Tabarak said, I've just booked tickets to Hackney Empire. Keep the winter Woo! deep in the winter, sad depression. I'm in the front row in the middle to my guy. Fuck me. I'm thick. The tour is for November 2025. <laughs> so they thought they were going to see you, but don't worry, guys. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. There may be a way for you to see K live in 2024. And also, K has his, his um comedy club. So pop down yeah, and see him. With his material there. Every month, but it, it's not. Well, yeah, anyway. Right, here's one. If six packs were available without doing any work on a direct debit, every man would have one. Six packs on Klarna. A new age would arrive where you need to sh show your scheduled payments on your banking app to prove whether it's real or not. The question would then become, how much would you be willing to pay for a six pack instead of six pack or a sick personality? Well, I never heard that. Um, how, I would, much, how much does Whoop cost? How much does it cost? <clears throat> I think it's like 30 quid a month. There you go. So that's what I'll, you think. I'll, I'll, I'll pay 30 quid a month. To have a six pack? Yeah. <clears throat> if there was genuinely a, genuinely a way of paying to be healthier, <coughs> I, would, I would probably pay for cardio. I'd pay to just be like, imagine that you could just flick a switch. You're right, mate. My, my, you know, there's my, my my throat's itching inside. Why is that? <coughs> I don't know. It was just itching. That's I thought it was a punchline. Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> He's like, it's literally hurting. Right. Yeah. All right. Um, if there was a way for you to be healthier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, I'd have the personality of a brick, and my direct <laughs> debits would be a hundred pounds a month. So, <laughs> do you me. know what? Um, I how much did the whoop cost again uh, online? Did 30, you see? It? No, but it was a, there was a monthly, there was a yearly membership, an annual membership. To see how much. All right, the annual membership three hundred eighty-four pounds. Uh, tw twenty-four, yeah. yeah, twenty-four month. So that's twenty-four uh, month membership. Yeah, yeah, it's four about four hundred. All right, four hundred and fifty quid. I'd pay for a six-pack a year. Really? Yeah. Do you know what I'd do though? It's probably. I, yeah. I would be happy to pay a hundred pounds to have it for a week, which is a lot more than what you're paying. But you can choose when you have the six-pack. Summer. Yeah. Oh yeah, I get the summer so package. Like, what if you're yeah the summer package? So it like might cost you more if you have it all the summer. But what, bruv, turn you're going to your mum's house for dinner. Turn it off. I don't need the six pack. Then pay as you go, pay as you pack. I would have that, bro. I pay would have you, that. Like if I would, I would say basically, I would have my six pack from March mm. till October. Wow, that's a stretch. You don't need it in November. Yeah. Yeah, December, I'd, pay as, you go. I'd January, pay as you go. February. I'd chance it, pay as you go, hoping for a summer like this, where having fifty days of rain. Actually, you're right. And I, and you're I just right, flick though, it on. Because if I go holiday in the in the winter to a hot hot place, yeah. So you can just flick it on, like, do you know what I mean? Fuck it, I'm paying the annual membership, bro. Yeah. Oh, have you heard that you I'll get stay you, know, you get free evenings and weekends if no, you pay no, for no, a certain I'll membership? Stay ready, bro. So you're just gonna go annual I'll all go, the time. I'll go annual, twenty four hours a day. What? Even during sleep hours as well? Seven days a week. Wow. Man has the six pack and I've paid for it. Wow. And I know Wait, wait. Do you know that you know you get twenty percent off if you get eight? Back. Someone's gonna take gonna this. Yeah, someone's gonna take this and go. Wow, this is a really interesting conversation. So you're willing to pay for a six pack, but you're not willing to pay and take the sacrifices it takes to. to no, and this is what's <laughs> this is what's wrong with life today. People want shortcuts. They want shortcuts. Bro, I'm Did you build your house that you live in? That's not the point. Someone built it for you. You just yeah, moved in. Yeah. Shortcut. People want to pay for the shortcuts. So you t you 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 made that land. Like you made the infrastructure to live in that land, you put the water and electricity. No, but you're missing. You're you're not understanding my point. People want shortcuts, and they're just willing to pay. I, but it's not like we're actually getting BBLs and stuff. We're just saying in a hypothetical world, if they had it, it's not really going to add anything. To yeah, it. it's like magic. Is but what it would about. make us really, really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I remember? It would make us ecstatic. There's been a few times in my life when I've been in so sh such good shape, right? Very rare times where people. This is the one that got me. This is the one that made me feel like nice. 
someone referred to my belly as abs. Oh my, just that one word, K. Just that one word can change it. Hey, you man, had you, ab aches. I think I said something like, oh, you got something, you know, like in your abs area. Abs? Nah, man, I've got a tummy. You get me? So if someone calls it abs, then that's yeah, how you I'm, know you're I'm winning. I've never had that. I got you, bro, man. You, you know, know how you, got you know on your, on your abs you know, right there. Do you know how you know um, someone is 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 an inner fat guy that that's trying to keep keep um, keep active? Yeah, go on. Their forearms. Yeah, what is it? Like, so, like, you've got good, strong forearms as well. Yeah, like <laughs> he's done it so again, have guys. I. So have he's I. done it again. Yeah, go ahead. No, but you yeah. know, it's just like it. You could tell from the forearm they work out, but it's like, yeah, look, let's see. Have I got a good forearm? Yeah, oh, no, just no, arms, bro. Go like that. Go like that. Yeah, you see the muscles coming, what? the muscles at the top of it. Yeah, you see what? Alex, they're good muscles in it. Muscles. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Your forearms are hench, bro. Sure, anyway, thank you very much. But yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, you, that's how you know. But then it's just like, look at him looking at these forearms now. Like, yeah. yeah. Do you know what's <laughs> funny though? People doing the forearm exercise at the gym because look. I've never done it and it's cool doing it. it does it like you're practicing for a good old marathon of a wank yeah, though, isn't it? It yeah, does it yeah. like it's like you've it's like you've had it's a, a you've hard. had a wank, you've had just, a wank and you've run out of energy and you've gone, I wanted to get there, but I couldn't. Do you know do you know what a shortcut is for that? Wanking. You know no. <laughs> just wank more, isn't it? Like, no. Do the activity. If you're actually working out, like yeah. say you're doing a dumbbell Yeah. Um what's it? Dumbbell curl. Yeah. Grip the dumbbells tightly yeah. and it works your forearms anyway. Oh, I'll do that anyway, man. That's what I'm saying. Grip it tightly, and that's why your forearms become nice. Anyway, but then you can tell, and it's like, what about the other part? Don't watch the other part of the body. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, right. So um, we got we got a few quickie ones that we'll slap down right here. Okay. Cool. Uh, K hasn't done it. This is from Tahir. K hasn't done an ASAC update. They wrote ASAP. It's ASAP. They, they stopped. They stopped. They stopped. They stopped sending me no. texts ages ago. Yeah. So I think what must have happened is the actual parents must have gone in like we're not receiving any text updates. Yeah. Why are you not receiving any text updates? Well, you, we gave our telephone numbers. What telephone number do you have on, on file? Here's the telephone number. No, that's not my number. Oh, you're joking. No, that's not my number. Oh, man. What is your number? Here's my number. <laughs> that was a great time, though. Isn't it, it was a great time. You, you like I'd rang them up twice yeah. to get rid of it, and they didn't get rid of it. So I was. But like, it, it, did, it was like you a couple weeks went by, future. and I was like. <sighs> how he is what how they are right okay now. so uh matt has come in with a uh underrated or overrated hit for us okay underrated or overrated football as in soccer i believe properly rated correctly rated yeah yeah wow very good answer actually modern football overrated Football players now are dog shit in compare. The quality of football now is dog shit in comparison to twenty years ago. You reckon? Yes, one hundred percent. Nowadays, for a top player, where what there isn't the uh, mixture of teams that they could go to. You're talking when we were like in in school, Milan, Juve, um, Inter were all properly strong in Italy. Spain, you had like uh, Barca and Real. Premier League, you had good four teams there. And they were all top, top players at these teams. You look, you looked around at defenders. There were so many great top class central defenders, strikers. There was everywhere. Players like Ollie Watkins and like <laughs> Nicholas Jackson and these guys would be championship strikers 20 years ago. Now they're like playing for top Premier League clubs. Sorry, that's just, I mean, I know it's bad man, but. So is go. that removing like the outliers that we have out there in football that are absolutely amazing specimens of yeah, humans? Mbappe that we've would never just be before. another guy in, in another era. Really? You're talking about an era where you had a young Messi and Ronaldo, Kaka, Ronaldo, Rivaldo, like. All of those. Yeah, Ronaldinho. Yeah, all of those. <laughs> Come off him. Other Ronaldo. Del Piero. Fuck out of here, man. Another yeah, road. Like some. Hello. Another O. I told you all the O's yeah. are coming in. All yeah. the O's. Like, yeah. yeah, you're talking about like Figo, Beckham, Figo. Zidane. <laughs> oh, yeah, Zidane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, like, man. Yeah. I feel like um, we had Fabregas, real. We had Xavi, Iniesta. I feel like, and I think this is partly because of the media's. Um, now people can hammering at them. De Bruyne. But, it's like De Bruyne. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, sorry, this is going to turn into no, a football uh, podcast. No, I don't this really... is cool, but I just felt like we had more personality. Like we had players 100%. that had like we. No, some of it wasn't good, but like Cantona, like apart from the fly kick in the chest, he Windsor, Windsor, Windsor. <laughs> he had guys flicking up, flicking up their flipping um shirt shirt collars 100%. and stuff like that to be like Windsor Seagulls followed the roller. Yes. Come on. Come on. Right. 
A few more of these. Seagulls follow the troller. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Underrated or overrated, Buster Rhymes. Now, shout out to Ori Styler. He's a he's an avid Buster Rhymes fan. He would probably say Bustle he's boss. underrated. Buster boss, 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 boss. I would say Buster Rhymes. It depends who you talk to. I feel like young people don't know, but that's what happens in music. They don't know. I think Buster Rhymes underrated, in some man, ways fuck it, underrated. In some ways is underrated. In some ways is correctly rated. I feel like other rappers, apart from when 50's trolling him, have good respect for him. I feel, like, I feel like rappers don't really talk shit about him and he's been about like the greats, Wu-Tang Clan, you know, he's he's been consistent over years. He's worked with new artists, old artists. He's had some of the biggest hits. He's had like music videos that have been the most expensive bustle, bustle. videos of all time. Um, Maybe if you give it to me. Come on, amazing tune. Bustle, I think bust. he's, I don't think he's, I don't think people say, no one ever goes, he's shit. But I don't know if he's in a lot of people's top fives. Underrated. You say he's underrated. underrated. Okay, nice safe answer there. Biggity, 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 biggity. That was like one of these songs. I'm just. What one was that? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not actually singing the song. I was just like. Because <laughs> uh, the whole episode, you just doing those impressions. Uh, Olympics, overrated or underrated? Overrated. Really? Yeah. I think underrated for me, man. No, I think overrated. I think underrated, man. Because we, we only care sport. about the athletics. Yeah. Everything. No, well, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm watching other sports as well. I'm, I'm watching. I love the little. Don't care ones. about the diving. Yeah, I don't watch that. Don't care about equestrian. I watch a little bit of that. It's good to put on the background. <laughs> look, the, the horses don't look like they're dancing. I don't care about the sailing. <laughs> yeah, what's the, what's the, uh, I always forget it. Sailing and rowing are different. Don't care the about the sailing. That one's, it. you're talking about curling and that's the Winter Olympics. Oh, yeah. But like the normal Olympics, shooting. Shooting's care. good. Uh, Shooting's you, cool. Archery's you say good. that, but you don't know any other people. No, nah, I don't have to though. That's the whole point of the Olympics. That's the whole point of those other sports is you don't know what's going on. Here we have James McCoy. He's been an Olympic champion for the last 34 years. A world record. I've never seen this guy in my life, bruv. <laughs> this guy looks like literally he could just, he could be working anywhere. I could pass by him. He's just the most average person, as the kids would say, an NPC. But here he is about to secure the most number of gold medals in this it's sport. It's overrated, time. man. Olympics is overrated. <laughs> Do you know why it's overrated? Why? You could be, a, like you just said, someone could be a gold medalist and they could be walking down the street. Oh, that's fantastic. Like, oh my God, he's an Olympic medalist. Yeah, but. That's great, man. Nah, Don't that's. Be such a pessimist. It's what if in the future they have something like that? What if, what if, because look, we're starting to get into the arts now. Dancing's in, break dancing's in. Uh, so, and, that means technically and it's one step closer. It's devaluing the Olympics. One step closer to. It's devaluing to, right. the Olympics. What the fuck so is To recognise it as an Olympic sport. They were trying to get rid of boxing to put hip hop in there. They took wrestling out so they could put like break dancing in. Fuck out of here! Well, oh, oh, sorry for a moment. I went like WWE, but it wasn't like proper wrestling. Yeah, they took um, proper wrestling. Sorry, not out. like real wrestling. As they want to get proper thing. wrestling out of there. Really? Yeah. No, keep it. Keep it. I think more, more the merrier. Don't I take want, it out. Add them in. I, I want, add, the should add sport, one in every the year. The only sports I want in is like the Greek proper ones that they had back in the day, in it. Oh, like fight to the death. It's like okay, what K wants? <laughs> what K wants? No, is, running, jumping, no, no. <laughs> what you running, want? jumping, throwing. What you want is you running, want a coliseum, yeah. And you want a lion to come out, and then there's like a ga gladiator. And to be fair, it would do numbers though, wouldn't yeah, it? It would do numbers. No, but like running, jumping. Like I yeah. think all the ones that are held in the stadium. Okay. Running, and all that nonsense. Throwing, throwing. Uh, javelin, javelin, shot put, put. heptathletes, and decathlons, and all of that sort of stuff, right? Yeah. Um, 100 meters, 200 meters, 400 meters, all of that shit. Marathons. Yeah. All of that Olympic medals, fine. Yeah. Right. Sailing, f don't care really could not give a damn uh and and a lot of the other ones so i think the olympics is overrated when people are like, oh my god the olympics it's like when people are moaning oh no it's not going to be on bbc anymore come on man they're giving like Eurosport the shit ones that you're gonna see the 100 meter final on the bbc in it yeah. you're just not gonna see a fucking horse dancing i think it's underrated man honestly i love that if anything though i would love if they could and stay with me guys on this if they could just Americanize it a bit, like let's add a bit of energy. A bit. Like, like I want it loads. Like I'm just thinking, Kay. What if instead of like, um, it's not shot, but there's one where they swing something around. What's it called? Um, you know what I mean? Golf. No, no, where they swing a weight around and they let go. Oh, uh, you're talking about? Um, do you know what that's called, Alex? Hammer throw. So hammer throw. Hammer throw. Yeah. What if they change the hammer so it looks like Thor's hammer? Do you know what I mean? Like, make it look a little bit exciting for us. Do you know what I mean? Or like, like if we have like, what's another one they could make cool? Like, I don't know, like shot put or something like that. If it's a good shot, there's like big, like an explosion no, of that's graphics. Already like, good we anyway. need that, but man. Yeah, no, the graphics they could add. They could add pyrotechnics every yeah. time someone hits something. 
Yeah, like, like, uh, like, like the way they make the darts fun. Yes. Like, yes, come on. Yeah, 180. We need if they had that. something like 20 meters. Yeah. Okay. We have a new world record. Yeah, yeah, Everyone yeah. Goes, ah, like I, think, I think they need to put, get more pissed people yeah. in the... Um, <laughs> More Stadium. drunkards, but yeah, no, I like it. I like I like to see all these little sports. Give it to I like Saudi. a skill base. Look at what they've done sport. to boxing. Yeah, man, they've been killing it. Been killing it. On they that note, let's it. get the fuck out of here. This has been Clueless Questions. We'll see you next week.